What's going on everybody? This is Captain Obvious, you guys are the Eleven Crew, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Alright guys, what I have for you today is a two-way scorekeeper, okay? And I just kind of created this little game, Caller vs. Caller. It's literally just a, like a quiz show, just a quiz game, okay? So people would stand up here, right, and they would get up there by the ladder, they'd climb up, they'd come here. Obviously they can't see their lamps, but they'd press it. Obviously, the lamp would go off, and whoever is the whoever is the the host of the show or the judge or however you want to do it, he'll determine uh, whose light went off first, either that one or that one. Okay, and they'll ask the question. He'll ask the question, and then they'll either get it right or wrong. If they get it wrong, though, they lose a point. That's what the, I just put these here to show you guys which is which. The green makes the point goes up, points go up, and the red makes the point go down. So they get it correct. They're like blue team, you get a point. Right, so you press it, they'll get a point. And then if they answer incorrectly, it's like, oh, I'm sorry, blue team, but you lose a point. Now, the only thing is when you do it, it does kind of dance through it, but then it, it takes away the point. Right, so same thing here. You can give a point, you give another point, right? And then you press the button, and it'll kind of dance through it, but it'll take it away at the end, just like this. Boom. Boom. Okay, I thought it was really cool. Now you can make this obviously as, as long as you need to. It's entirely up to you. Ten would be cool. I just thought five might be fun for uh, if you if you guys are on a server and you want to do like uh, you know a bunch of questions. You can have a whole bunch of questions. You can have like um, a tournament, right? And I figured with five questions or five points, it'll be uh, a little bit easier to do. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to do this whole this whole entire design. Uh, I am going to show you the redstone. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we'll do it. The floor I just put together. Whatever. The floor is whatever it is. You don't have to follow the floor. All right. But let's just... Let's uh, let's go over here. Okay. So this is everything you're going to need. And uh, let's get... So what all you're going to need basically to build it. Okay. All you're going to need is a building block. You're going to need some redstone dust. You're going to need some repeaters. You're going to need some torches. Uh, have a button just so you can test it out. You're going to need a lamp. You're going to need a sticky piston. And you're going to need an observer. Okay, this is for the... Make sure this... this do you understand? This is for the bedrock edition. Now, all of the rest of this stuff, this is if you're going to build the whole thing. So, if you're going to build the whole thing, what I suggest you do... Obviously, you need colors, right? So, actually, we need a color, too. I'm going to take blue. Um, what do I have the red for? Oh yeah, the red and the green were just to tell which goes up and which goes which goes down. So you might need those. A ladder to get on top. Uh, the blue carpet is just to cover the light that I have in there. That's the glowstone. Okay. Orange is the other color. So we have blue and orange. Okay. Then we have blue and orange glass. That's just for the host. So whatever your whatever your colors are, have the corresponding glass. Uh, the comparator. I gotta be honest. I don't even remember what the comparator is for at this point. That is really funny to me. A comparator, and obviously I have a dark oak fence gate for the host, and a grass block. And let me just look really quick to see where a comparator came into play. Uh, I don't actually have any idea. I'm going to get rid of the comparator for now, because I, I don't recall needing a comparator, to be honest with you. So that, that could just be... Yeah, I don't think we need one. Okay. Anyway, here's what you're going to do. Watch how simple this is. You ready? I'm actually going to build uh, with different circuits, believe it or not. That never happens with me. Okay, so what you're going to do is this is... We're going to start from the far left over here. Okay? So we're going to go one, skip a space, two, three, four, five. Okay? It's going to look just like that. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put... A repeater going this way. Okay, set to three. Make sure everything's on a delay of three. Now, if you guys on Java want to do this, I think uh, what I'm about to do over here, I think you, I think it's actually easier for you guys because I'm pretty sure the mechanics still work. So, what we're gonna do is you're gonna break a block here. Okay, you're gonna put down a sticky piston with a block on top. Okay, and then this way right here. I think, I, I don't know this for, for certain. I think you if you guys put a repeat, uh, repeater here, I think it'll work just like this. 
But on bedrock, what we have to do is break a block, put a repeater under there. You can leave it on regular. You don't have to set the, uh, any ticks or anything. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put a um, observer like that. Okay. And then you're going to put your, uh, your thing right here. Okay. Your redstone right there. Leave that just like that. Okay. Come around to the back of these. You're going to put torches on them. Then you're going to put repeaters, okay, in front of those torches like that. Again, just leave it. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do anything with it. You're going to put blocks like that, okay. Put redstone dust on it, and then again, you're going to put uh, blocks. Oops, you're going to put blocks there. Okay, make sure it comes out just like that. You're going to put torches on top of those blocks. And then you're going to put redstone dust. Oh, whoops, sorry. You don't need it on this end, I apologize. Yeah, you don't need to put anything on that one. It's just for the first five. Okay, there goes that. You guys can probably, probably hear the, the daily bus that goes by my, my house as I record. Okay. Now what you're going to do is on this end, okay, so these go this way. This one, you're going to have it come this way. So again, you're going to put one there, set it to three. These are all three. Okay. Just like that. And that's for the reset. Okay. We're going to do the same thing we did over there. So we're going to put a piston, a sticky piston, one down with a block on top. Okay. Again, we're going to put a repeater there. And then again, we're going to put an observer there. Okay, we're just going to bring it up to there. Cool. Okay, now what we're going to do is let's set our lines here. So we're going to put, I'm going to use white for this. Okay, so we're going to put a block on top of these pistons, uh, of these, um, not pistons, of these torches. We're going to come out three. So one, two, three, or come out two more. So it's a total of three. Okay, and then what we're going to do is, boom, this is where our our lamps are going to go. Okay. So right here where we brought this redstone, where we brought this line of redstone, this one, two, three, four redstone on that fifth one. That is where you can go ahead and you can put uh, this right here, this little design. Okay. And then we're just going to skip every one for a total of five lamps. One, two, three, four, and then five. Okay. Cool. And then you could just go ahead and give it a test. So this side is going to be your addition. So you press it. Did I not? Did I not press it? Hold on. What did we forget? What did we forget? Three, three, three. Oh. Wow, yeah, I didn't connect the redstone. That's that would be that would be why. Okay, so you just finish this off. So you put a block behind those, and then all you're gonna do is you're gonna run a line of whoops. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Like that. Okay, so you're just gonna run that line. And we should have a score of two. Yeah, there we go. Press it again. And you have a score of three. Okay, then just test the reset. You press it, make sure it resets for you. Okay. And perfect. Okay. So those both work. Okay. Now you can just keep it like that and add to a score if you wanted to. But if you wanted to actually do the game. Okay. If the game was something that that you'd be interested in doing. You just take another color. Okay. And all you're doing. Just run this across for a little bit. Okay. Just to give you a base. You're skipping one space. You're putting that there. And then you're going to do the same exact thing. Okay. So you would put the repeater there. You would put, uh, there we go, that like that. You'd go orange this time. Okay, and then you'd go your five this way. All right, so you go one, two, three, four, five. So essentially, everything now is the exact same, just going in the opposite direction, right? So you'd come inside here. Whoops, not that. I keep doing that. One, two, three, four, five, right? 
you can actually put the dust on top now so you don't forget so we'll just do this really quick okay like that again you would put it into whoops again you would put it into a block so everything is everything is just going uh opposite you know that's that's essentially what it is get out of here donkey mule or whatever you are <laughs> I always find it tricky to place these things. There we go. Okay. Again, you put down a torch. And again, you do that. That's okay if that wants to act like that for now. Okay. And then the opposite side over here is where you put the rest of it. So you go three, 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 three. And again, you would put your, your sticky piston with your block with your repeater, right? <clears throat> with your observer, and then one, two, three, four. Whoops, four, like that. Okay, so that's where your that's where your game would end right here. You could just connect the two. Okay, and we put these blocks on top. Two, three, four, five, one, two. But I think this would be a really fun uh, fun build for a server. And again, you can use this for a lot of things. It's not just for, uh, you know, a, a quiz game. You can use it for a lot of other things. It, it has great um, mechanics to it for a lot of things, for counting and stuff. Oh, what am I doing? Why did I do that? <laughs> Sorry, guys. Going a little crazy here. Okay, so those are the two colors. Most people do red and blue. Uh, I see a lot of people green, but I feel like orange is always, always underutilized as a color. All right, here we go. What did I do wrong? Oh, yeah, you don't put, sorry, you don't put redstone on top of that. You do not want those to connect. Those are separate, separate lines, okay? Beautiful. Beautiful. I obviously connected it by accident over here. So what I'm going to do is just click the reset. And there we go. And get rid of it. Okay. So now I forget what I did. I kind of just built this on the fly. And then we went up uh, one, two, three. Okay. So then you're just going to come up three in the end. So one, two, three. All right. And whoops. One, two, three. And you do one, two, three, four for the blue. Okay, so you go one, two, three, four. And I think you just go up twice with that, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, twice, skip three, and then another four. Okay, so you're going to you're gonna come up, uh, come up four, go up two, skip three, one, two, three, and then go one, two, three, four. Just like that. Okay, and then you can put the white. All right, put the white on top yeah cool and then you're going to uh you're going to add that little piece on the top here this lamp okay so you're going to put the lamp in the middle just like that all right and then you're going to come out one two three and i think i did five yeah so it actually if you see this blue it actually extends to that okay and then you do the same thing here so you come out one two three four skip three and then one two three four do two spaces with it all right two spaces with it <clears throat> excuse me everything else is your whatever your accent color is i'm obviously using uh white but you can use whatever you'd like yeah that goes there okay perfect do i do anything in the middle no and then you're going to do five up here so one two three four five just like that okay now what we're going to do is we're going to put pieces here one two three and these are going to come in handy in a, in a minute i'll show you why All right just like that you make like a little eye i don't know i just i kind of liked it oh i'm sorry it goes down here okay and then what we're going to do see this little space right here we're just going to kind of trace it so you go one two three Go up on top of that, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're gonna do the eye over here as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, hold on. 
See how that happened? So we'll do it again on the end. So you, you put a block here and come out one, two, like that. Come up, go there and there. Okay, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up on a diagonal, go one, two, three. Put a chunk block again, diagonal, one, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three. Okay, so again, you can make this out of whatever you want. It's entirely up to you. Sorry, I, I built this like on the fly, so I'm just trying to figure out uh, how to do it again. And then the side is, hold on, does the side come out? That just goes across, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so what we're gonna do is wait that's not supposed to be there one two three four five six seven eight like that and then this comes up and that gives us that eye on that side perfect yeah just like that cool 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 okay and then we actually add blue to it so first we do that and then we do blue to this side Right, like that. Actually, we could do that there. And then we go right there, two, three, come up, two, three, like so. Okay, and then you put this here. You just wanna make sure you don't cover, you don't cover the, uh, the redstone in any way. And actually, you can bring this in like that. Okay, so that's one side. You do the same thing on the other side here. So you'd come this way, extend it one pass like that. Okay, and then you go one, two, this comes up, just like so. Uh, you can actually fill this in with something, doesn't really matter. Did I do that there? Yeah, I did. Okay, and then what you're gonna do for this side is you're gonna put one block one, two, three, four, five, like that. Put another block there. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. I think it's five. Yeah. Cool. Okay, and then you would do a whole layer of white. And then your color all the way. Color all the way. And then white again. But again, remember to fill this in up top. Okay. And then you're gonna kind of do the same thing here again. So you're just gonna bring this all the way across. And then this, and then you could bring this up, sorry. Same thing here, bring it up. Because this is gonna be your third T, so, or your your last level of your I, not your T. Okay, same thing here. So you're gonna go one, two, bring this up, and go like this. Again, I'm just trying to do, I'm not trying to do like a, a super, like block by block. I'm trying to just do a quick thing to show you guys. Okay, there you go. Come across with that. I don't know, I, I, I like this specific design. Actually, we're gonna end up breaking this in the back, or adding something to the back too, so. Just uh, hang on a sec right there. Okay, again, let me come all the way across with this, whoops. Beautiful. And then we're gonna find this design in the middle of this center in the middle here, right? The center block. And that's gonna be our, our next eye, like that. Okay. And this is also where we're gonna put our ladder. So we could put our ladder right there. Cool. And then you basically would just fill all of this in. Okay, this is the design that I used. You guys can do, you know, however you like, okay? So that's the design that I used, just like that. So this is where the, this is where that, the button would go, right in the middle here. So if you come over here, you'd put the button right there, the button right there, and then you'd fill, all of this would obviously be filled in. Okay, and then again, I, I did the design, but I'm not gonna do that here. And then, oh, and then I put a, 
piece of glowstone. I think it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, right there on the fourth one. Right, I put that, I covered it with that. Same thing here, one, two, three, four. I covered it with orange. Boom, just like that. And then you'd fill the rest in. And, uh, and then, oh, for the sides, you go back to your white, and then you're gonna come here and do kind of the same thing that we did the first time. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. All right, same thing here. One, two, three, four, five. And then very similar thing here as well. Come all the way over. So you're given a little bit of a border to it and a little bit of shape. <clears throat> there we go, now it's, now it's complete. I knew it didn't look right. Okay, and then you just wanna fill this in. I just kind of want to show you what it looks like when it's all filled in. So this is what I, this is how I had it before I did the design. So just solid white. You could very well just leave it like that. It's entirely up to you. It doesn't matter. Okay, but if you screenshot or just pause it over there, you could see it. Perfect. Okay, and then I did a little thing here with the C. So we go one, two, three. Come up five, two, three, four, five. Boom. Right. <clears throat> we use this for the V. So we go there. One, two, and then one, two, and then we do the orange on this side. Color versus color. One, two, three, two, three, four, five. Okay, now let's make the booth. Okay, so the reason I ended up doing this is because if you look here, we have to break this for a second on both sides. Okay, you have to break one block or two blocks here so that's one two right so you break those two you put a piece of redstone dust same thing there and then you go down one more so you're two down here right and then i think i came out uh let's say 10 with it starting from from this wall so one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten okay and then what I did was I broke this one, put a repeater going that way. I put redstone dust there. Okay, now you can actually put this back. So you can't put anything there because it'll break the signal. Okay, and then you want to break this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then break that. Okay. And the reason I have it set up the way I have it set up over there is uh, for this reason. So you can go ahead and put your blocks here, right? You'd press that button for this one, that button for this one. <clears throat> and then you'd also need another one here and another one here for your decrease. Because this is your increase, right? These are your counters right here. So you can even put that put the designation down, right? So we got... The green shows you that it's a positive count. The red shows you that it's a negative count. And then how many, did I do it four or five? I think I did four. Yeah. I did four for the booth. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then obviously one, two, three. One, two, three. And then this is where the door was keep it open right and then what I did was you could put a little like stand here so you can stand up and still and press the buttons because you can reach everything from here but you can also see better okay so then what you do is you put one in the middle and then you're gonna take your different colors so we got blue for this side right this is the blue side orange for this side boom and then here's where you stand. And then you would just fill this in, obviously, like that. Or again, with whatever whatever you decide your palette uh, to be. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this really quick for you guys. I'm not going to end up doing the floors over here. So what I'll do for now is we'll just put we'll just put this back. Okay, just like that. Perfect. And then you just want to give it a test, make sure it works, right? Make sure you didn't do anything wrong. 
So we just add it to the blue. There we go. Add it to the yellow. Or to the yellow, the orange. Oh, okay. Did we break something? That should not be counting by two. What did we break? Did I break that? No, I did not. That should not be counting by two at all. Let me, let me just try it again. Maybe I messed something up. You know what? I might have hit it twice and not even realized it. Because it looks like it's fine. Yeah, it should it should be okay. Let's just double check. Press it once. No, it's doing it twice. Uh... Huh. That definitely should not be the case. Did I do everything at three? Three, 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 three. Very odd. Very odd. I don't know why it's doing that. I didn't break any signal here, right? All right. Well, let me. We'll figure out. Well, let me. Let me set up the the decrease, and we'll and we'll figure that out. Okay. So now you do the same thing for this one. I believe it's here. Oh no, it's one back. Sorry. Yeah. There we go. So you do the same thing. Okay, you break one down and then you break another one down. So that way you can put that there and it's not going to affect it. Okay, so you come out from this from this part right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And actually put put a, a repeater there. Okay, and what we're gonna we're, what we're going for, what our goal is for this one is to, this is where the button is, you put a um, piece of redstone underneath it, you break down another one, and then you put down a repeater there. So our goal is to have these two lines meet. Right, so you go this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Okay, oops, let me keep that and do that. There we go. Okay, so we can just cover this entire thing up go crazy with it there we go okay let's make sure the decrease works on this side press the button boom okay and now we'll do the same thing on this side all right guys so i fixed everything that needed to be fixed so what happened was that wall was correct see how it comes out here you have the last light the orange the white and then you do this everything was extended over this one was incorrect so I had a lot of little things thrown out of place because what was happening was everything started one in, right? So the line was here, which meant that like a, like an idiot, I didn't see it. This right here, the piston that's underneath kept pushing blocks up. Okay, so we didn't we don't want that. So just look at the dimensions right here. Okay, you can see how it starts. So you got the blue, the white, and then you could bring this out. And then if you turn the corner, it looks just like that. Okay, the other thing is I fixed this one. Apparently I forgot, I didn't think I did, but apparently I forgot the piston under here. So that's what it was. That's why the counter was not counting correctly. Uh, so now if we come here, let's just uh, reduce that. I also connected the, the line. Okay, so if now if we press the button, now it's just gonna give us the one rather than the two. Okay, so now everything's good. And that is it. That is the whole build, guys. Okay, so just keep in mind that it starts here. That's why I popped this little bad boy. It doesn't start in the middle of the, the, of the eye. It starts on the end over here. And then you just connect everything. That's just basic red stunning. Okay? All right, so that's going to do it for me. If you guys use this, let me know. Send me, send me a link on Twitter to the video or just send me screenshots, whatever. I'd love to see how you implemented this in, in, your, uh, in your world. Even if you don't use this setup, even if you just use the redstone, I'd love to see it. Okay? That's going to do it for me. Captain Ivy's out. Peace.